Hey guys, this is Parker here. Back with part 11 of Night in the Woods. Okay. Boring. At the pickaxe if you're in town center today. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Okay. Okay, it's the wave message. Hey dude. At the old snalkin. Come save me from boredom supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. Okay. So we're gonna hang out with Greg today. And yeah, investigate um, little Joe, I guess. That's what, that is the plan. Wait, is that a burp? Did I just notice that? Did I just notice that? Bert, I kind of get you now. All like trapped and shit. I should let you out. Nah. What do you mean, nah? Do 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 we have any detective books out here? Oh, of course. Of course we do. Uh -huh. There's like something written inside this book cover. Left 45, right 100, left 22, left 90, right 15. This is like, what is this? No idea. But I, I'm, I'm just not good at puzzles and remembering stuff. So yeah. Her dad is never gonna move the boxes, so. Honey, you okay? Uh, mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? No. Oh, honey, is that why you came home? No, not at all. Sweetie, you can, you can tell me. I've been there. And despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. You're a miracle, baby. That's me, a miracle. After all the miscarriages, we given hope, hope, and then there where you were. And here I am now. So if you're pregnant, I'm not pregnant. I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about something else? Sure. <laughs> her, her eyes though. You know, if you did have a baby. Oh, okay, I'm out. <laughs> okay, sweetie. I'm sorry, I, I get excited about grandbabies. It's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you too. Yep, I do not want to talk about children right now. No, no, no. No, no, Okay, my switch control is going to the left. Alright. Broken Joy Cons. Yay! I don't even know how to fix it. You alright? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like you went through the dryer on the wrong setting. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Long week is all. You want to hear a poem? Cheer you up? Sure. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report, life is too short. <laughs> Here's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Selmers. They cheer you up? They did. Yay! Her, her poems are very, very good. It keeps on improving. Bad weather coming soon. I feel in my bones. Okay. Up to see Greg. Okay, squirrel, calm down. It's like, <laughs> it's like running all over the place. Wonder if Fishman Joe is here. Come oh, on, he's gotta be here. Singing to the fish. Nope, he's not there.
So, like, are you always together? Yeah, I guess. That's cool. Friends are cool. Safer. Safer? Yeah, like the buddy system. Safety in numbers! You're a little paranoid, you know that? Kid, you don't even know. Anyone hear anything about anyone around here missing? Uh, yeah, actually. There's some girl I know online. She hasn't been on since harvest. Okay, well, I think we need, might need a bit more than that. Okay. Is she from here? I can ask my aunt. Some place called Mulve. <gasps> Mulve? You know someone from Mulve? Yeah. Do you know where Mulve is? Do you know what Mulve is? No. I heard about Mulve. My dad drives the bread truck. Mulve used to be one of his stops. What happened? He don't stop there no more. They have to pay some other guy to do it. Sounds about right. What's Mulve? So, I think it's a place. I'll take you out there this weekend. Don't. It'll be fine. We'll just drive through. I need to go back to the sun. Uh, into sun now. Okay. I guess she doesn't like that place. Sup, dude. Hey, how are you holding up? Surviving. Had the weirdest stream last night. Really? Um, I saw some space bugs. No, not space bugs. Like, not bugs and not in space. Like, things beyond bugs in some place beyond space. I fell asleep on the couch watching Judge Cappy. Oh, awesome. She's the best. She really is. She takes no crap. Boy, you ain't lying. So what's up? You wanna hang out? Got some date night stuff with Angus. It's cool, I'm not hit up B. I hit her the F up. Uh, okay. Uh. <laughs> Guess we'll go to B then. Hey, May. Hey, dude. Totally, what's up? Nothing. You okay? Yep. Okay. Sorry, don't mind me. Okay. Hey, B. Hey. You alright? You seem down. Oh, it's nothing. Stuff. You wanna talk about it? Nah. Okay. Oof. What are you up to today? Eh. Whatever you wanna do. Let's hang out. Proximity. Okay. So, what kind of party is this? Is? Um, a Jackie party? Uh, what's the Jackie party? You remember Jackie? Um, uh, let's go with- yeah, she's in intense. She's serious about serious stuff. She's a lot of fun otherwise. Didn't Jackie have like a one woman band? Yeah. Trans World Order Give Them Hell. T-W-O-G-T-H? Yeah, it's actually really great. She's got a great scream. I'm sold. It's like a heavy metal band? Twogged. Hey B, say it. Say tools. 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 What? Tools! Uh, anyway. This is the party. Uh, Jackie invited me. Oh, look at you! All going to secret parties and shit. They're not secret, May. Well, I wasn't invited. Okay, I invite you. You are not invited. Woohoo! Okay, we got like a 90 minute drive ahead, so... Jeez, this is better than- this better be some party. Jackie's- Jackie parties are what good trip. Okay. An hour and a half trip. I think I went here once, in Girl Scouts, to see some sort of longest night play. Yeah, I was there. Oh yeah, we were kind of stuck together back then. Uh, I'm kind of curious, why'd you start talking to me? I was new in town, and you seemed cool. That's it? You were smart and fun. 
what am I now? You know, fun. <laughs> it's like super shitty. That you keep saying I'm not smart. I'm sorry, I'm mostly kidding. Mostly. You're not smart either. Alice valedictorian of our class. Oh, like that means anything in the real world. Um, actually, I think B is like way smarter than you. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Alright, let's go. At least, at least you guys both said sorry. I'm kind of nervous about this. Let's stay close, alright? Nothing to be scared of down there, it's just a party. Not too late to throw ourselves into traffic instead. Hey, Jackie. Hey, B. Oh, weird, it's May. Hey, Jackie. So it's the lady, okay. Uh, you brought May. Yeah, it's okay. Sure, it'll be fun. Go oh, on in, it's a good one. Is there like dancing and stuff? The world is ending, May. Of course there's dancing. Cool. Okay, I cannot dance to save my life. <laughs> Just gonna throw it out there. That's why you gotta take it seriously. Put your foot down. No fastest at this, at this party. Ah, <laughs> right. You don't talk this shit out. You punch that shit out. Do you think that's best? Uh, yeah. Carry a knife and learn to throw a punch. We can't have no sense of humor about this shit. Mace works too. Mace against faces. <laughs> hey! Hey, this is May. Hey, May. Yep, that's May. So where are you guys from? Suburban, suburban, Bright Harbor. Couple of born and bred harbor rats. Wow, what are you doing out here? Long story for both of us. I got time. Hold up, we're gonna go yell at the G DJ real quick. We know him, he's a total dink. Okay, I'll be here. Bye boys! They seem nice. This is very cool. No drinking, May. Okay, fine. You guys wanna dance? Yeah! Can you dance, May? <laughs> no. <laughs> Me, personally, though. No. Can, like, anyone here dance? There's some dancing going on, see? <laughs> um, that guy's just like wobbling. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, we're dancing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Wow, man. <laughs> I think those guys are back over there. Oh, yeah. Should we go talk to them? Yeah, we should. I can dance. I never knew. I'm gonna keep dancing. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, I don't think I've ever danced at a party before. Okay, we'll be like 10 feet away. Within an eye shot. Within an eye shot. And I'll watch you. Don't drink anything someone gives you. B, I know. No, seriously, if any... B, I'll be fine. Let's go, she'll be fine. Okay, okay, okay. Do, do. <laughs> yeah, just dance by yourself, me. This is fun. <laughs> I don't think I've ever danced in a party before, too. Easy, what's the big fuss? Hey B! Oh, hey May, this is Chris. Hey Chris. Hey. Your friend B is pretty cool. Aw, she's okay. 
Did she tell you we saw a skeleton last night? Whoa. Yeah, haha. <laughs> like Memento Mori and shit. Uh, let's start. We are gonna die. Oh jeez, does anyone need help with that? <laughs> You're laughing a lot. <laughs> Beatrice. That's like an old name. Like a book you read in second grade. Ah, uh, well, a book you like. I used to be a big reader. Then I got bored with books. My granddad used to read to me. Before he got dementia and died. Okay, mate, uh... Um. <laughs> Sorry about your granddad. It's okay, it was years ago. Beast mom is dead too. <laughs> May, May, stop. I'm sure everyone here knows someone who died. My dog died last spring when my house exploded because there was a gas leak from when my dad hit a line trying to dig up the dog way out before that because they were going to move. Oh my god. And dad said he had to come with us. Wow. So, Chris, what are you majoring in? Poli sci. Oh, that's cool. Are there a lot of jobs in that? Oh, I don't know. I just find it interesting. I feel like you have to be pretty materialistic to go to college just so you can get a job after. That's interesting because... Heh. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Check out rich kid over here. Gonna pay zillions of dollars to go to college. Just cause something's interesting. B. B. Check this dude out. You ever worked a day in your life, Chaz? I interned at my uncle's firm, yes. Well, I bag groceries. Okay. Haha, <laughs> May, do you want to dance some more? Uh, no, I'm good. You sure you don't want to go dance? Yeah, my parents own their business, so... Oh, tell me about it. I know a bit about running a small business. Wanna go across the street and get some pizza? I could eat, and it's a small business. You speak their language, you have three sizes. B doesn't like spoiled rich kids, Chuck. I'll come along if that's okay, B. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Um. B knows all about business. Or, hey Cody, let me tell you about Beach Santello. Let's go with this. She's super on top of things, super smart and responsible. She runs like the biggest store in Possum Springs. Ha 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 What even is Possum Springs? Maybe I picked the wrong choice. Oh dang. It's West in the mountains. While a rich kid over here is studying politicians or whatever, bees out here in the real, real world. Not like you college kids. May. What? <laughs> I'm kind of over the whole college thing myself. B and I basically run Pasta Springs. Except there's like a ghost or something. You two live in Pasta Springs? Yeah, got a problem with that? Wow, you drove all the way here from Deep Hollow County? It's not like two hours away. No, I, uh... Why would you do that? Hey Rick, B here drove in from Deep Hollow. Oh no, maybe I picked something? Are you not a student? Yeah. What? Yeah, I am. I'm. Haha. <laughs> B, stop lying to yourself. Oh. Uh, B, wait. Oh no. What was that about? I think she doesn't go here. So? Dude, I don't even know. Don't be ashamed of yourself, B! Oh no... What did you do? I was gonna ask the same thing! How in the world did you mess that up? She needs this. Now she's god knows where. If something happens to her, I will personally punch your teeth out. Okay, jeez. Alright, I'm gonna go up the street. You go down towards the river. We find her, make sure she's okay, I'll meet back here. Okay, oh god, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Back in school, I always told B that you're an asshole. And I really thought that was true. And it's good to know I was right. 
Okay, okay, okay. Okay, maybe I picked the wrong choice. I'm so bad at this. The roost. Can I get to the river quick on the roost? Hey, move! What? Move it, ghost orcs! No. I need to get up to the roof. You are not jumping on my car. I will end you right here in this pizza place parking lot. You cool down. You F off. Don't tell me to F off. Don't tell me to cool down. Get away from my damn car. If you don't get away from your damn car, I'm gonna run it over your damn head. Can you even drive? Wanna find out, citizen? I'm gonna call the cops. If you don't move, right now, I'm gonna go probably make you eat this entire car and I can do it. I'd like to see you try. The last person I hurt, physically. I hurt him very, very badly. Physically. Seriously, I'm about to- You're about to what? You know what? I don't have time for this. Oh no, you don't. Move. Hope you break your spine. Jeez. I don't know, man. Should I have picked the other choice? What was the other choice? That she runs a small business? I don't know. I'm sorry, babe. I'm gonna apologize, and we're gonna make this right, okay? Right? Oh, I'm sorry. Why did you run? That's like extremely dangerous. You're you're alone in some college town, and you don't even know where. This is my party. These are my parties. I come to these so I can feel normal for like two hours a month. This is normal. This is a bunch of dorks in the basement. College is stupid anyway. Oh my god, you complete asshole. You will never understand this. Ever. You know what I do when I go to sleep? Haha, <laughs> it's so freaking sad. I think I obsessively about going to college. Like really, really think hard about it. And if I'm lucky, as I fall asleep, I dream about it. I have to dream about this. This staying your soul over already. It's like my wildest fantasy. You have a life. No, I don't. I have obligations. I have a routine. When my mom died, my life ended too. I had to take over the business because dad had a complete breakdown. And the bills for my mom literally dying were so bad that we lost the house. The house I grew up in. Gone. Some shitty family with their shitty kids live there now. Now we live in an apartment. As my dad wastes away, and like any idea I had of the future, this big, bright thing just gets smaller and darker every time I wake up from a dream about nights like tonight. And you can't get that through your thick effing skull. I had no idea about any of this. How? How could you not know this? I work hard, and I take care of what's left of my family, and my life is slipping away. I'm trapped in that stupid hardware store, in that stupid town. I'm... 
just doomed. You're not the only person stuck here, you know. You gave up the thing I can't have. I kinda hate you. I can't not hate you for that a little. You don't know why I had to leave. Oh, I'm sure it's a brilliant reason. You just sit there judging me. Have you ever been asked why I left? Yeah, first day you were back. Oh, right. So why did you leave? I... I don't know. My head is in pieces right now. Any answer I could give would sound nuts. Oh. Well, that's illuminating. Oh, shut up. All this shit going on this past week? Ghosts and shit? I met God. He was an asshole. Uh-huh. <sighs> Look, we're both trapped, but we're trapped together. Better to be trapped with someone else, right? Listen, I'm sorry about, like, it's okay. We're like the best available friends. <laughs> oh god. What river is this? Red wi winder. Red winder? Winder? I don't know. <laughs> All the iron in the water turns the rocks orange. Must be weird for them. All the rocks on land get to keep their colors. And the river rocks are always looking up at them. Hmm. So, like, actual question. Do you think we'd be friends if we weren't, like, stuck together in the same town? Like, we're stuck together? Like, we were stuck together in Girl Scouts? Like, uh, is this just. What's the word? Proximity? Yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't. My entire life feels like running after something that keeps moving away into the distance while I stay in the same place. And I guess proximity counts for a lot right now. Hmm. Proximity. Proximity. Do you want to go back to the party? Nah. We could, come, we could come to another one sometime. I'll, I'll learn to talk good to whatever guy you're obviously trying to get with. Oh, good, thanks. B, you should have told me about everything. I was embarrassed. My entire life is embarrassing. B, I'm like more embarrassing than you will ever be. <laughs> you're like stronger and smarter than anyone I've ever met. Thanks. And you're not as big as a total idiot as I act like you are. I'm a jerk sometimes, I know that. But you're a genuinely good person? I'll take it. You know what the Fort Lucent Fish Fountain would say? What? Beatrice Santello. We should get burgers and shakes on the way home. Oh wow, a revelation from God. The good God, the fake one. Okay, you. Let's go home. Home again, home again. Oh, that was so sweet. <laughs> that was just... That was just really good writing and dialogue. Hi. Hello. Oh, wow, are you okay? No. Okay. So what's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're gonna have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? Where to even start? It's just, I've been having these dreams and I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? And I've had these horrible nightmares. That, that feel really real, and I think something really bad is going to happen. And I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff, and where where is it all going? What even is my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight, but like, 
everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I had that big fight with mom. Kitten, it's okay. And, and, and... Shh, kitten. Take a breath. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <gasps> I took a breath. <laughs> Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. <laughs> Mally! Garble. If I think about, you know, the afterlife. I don't have a life as it is. Why, Garvel? Do you think there's someone up there watching? Hey, I just hope that anyone's watching at this time slot. These are the big questions, Garvel. Don't get any better, my life. Are you a church girl, Garvel? Hey, the last time I was in church, they haven't invented religion yet. These jokes aren't that funny. You, you were making it up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. Yeah, I could, Maloy. But it would be... A WAPA! Coming up next, Scarbo and I contact the dead. Okay. What a coincidence that they're talking about God and deaths, aren't they? Hey, you. Hey, me. I am so tired from tonight. I bet. Did you run all the way to the river? Yeah, on the roofs and stuff. That and dancing really take it out of you. That's like really... That's really nice, me. That you did that. Aw, it wasn't that thing. Go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. Oh, I never go away. You'll never be rid of me. <laughs> okay, I can... Uh, I can think of worse fates. Hey, kid. Went to a party. Danced to the party. Ran around in the rain. Wow, sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag, but all in all, I party again. We need to do more parties. You are very right. Alright, off to bed. Laters! Okay, I'm just gonna play a song, but I'm gonna cut that out because, um... I, I, I've already played that song here. What is Cycles? Um... Okay, uh, that song. You know, that song. Cycle solo, what? Um... why I should not doubt myself while playing.
okay. Well, that was okay. There's a little leaf. May they be, be stuck together. Don't suck together. <laughs> Sounds about right. Okay. That time. Yep. Okay, that was it for part 11 of Night in the Woods. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.